Let's see. Okay. Uh, the Kansas City Chiefs, 12-4 and four last year. Odds to win the division, minus 155. Everybody loves this team. Strength of schedule, number nine, most difficult in the NFL. Turnover margin, they were number six at plus nine last year. Their over-under is 10. The juice on the over is minus 115. The juice on the under is minus 105. Yards per play, number one in the NFL last year. 6.7 yards per play. Offensive coordinator, Eric Bieniemy. Uh, they drafted wide receiver Miko Hardeman uh, with the, I guess, the thought that Tyreek Hill was not going to be around, uh, but he has got no suspension. He's clear to play. Everything's good on that, so the offense will continue ticking along as it uh, as it had last year. Defensive coordinator, Steve Pag- uh, Spagnolo. Is that how you say it? Yes, Steve Spagnolo. Okay. Uh, number 23 on defensive yards per play last year, gave up 5.8 yards per play. They signed defensive end Alex Okafor, defensive end Emmanuel Ogba, cornerback uh, Brashad Breeland, and free safety Tyran Matthew. They drafted safety Juan Thornhill. They completely overhauled the defense. I- I'm talking almost every position it felt like. Uh, they were number 32 in early down success rate last year on defense. Number 26, uh, least well, least efficient defense, whatever you want to call it. Um, they are a projected favorite in 13 games. Correct. I think the league catches up to them a little bit this year. Ooh, okay. I, I think that the offense slows Well, I mean, Vegas down. thinks the same thing because Vegas got them 10. Yeah, they're over under 10, and I've got them dead on the number. I've got them 10. I looked through that schedule. I mean, the strength of schedule is 9. Um, I think highly of the Chargers. I think... The Broncos going to be pretty good. I, they've got to go to New England again. Um, I I think that they get caught in several more spots this year. I think rebuilding this defense is going to take a little bit of time. And with the way that they play offense, it may not even be the defense's fault. Like, I, I think that they can put their defense in bad situations oh, sometimes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've got them 10-6 and six this year. So I like this team a lot. I I think they're the they're the bell of the ball of the NFL right now, and okay. and I think they're going to be thirteen and three in the regular season. Here's what I think about this team. I think they're going to be an MVP team. I think they're going to be um, a team where they're going to have a lot of regular season accolades. The problem is is when the game slows down, and you get into the playoffs, what do we think they can do? Because they're completely different in the playoffs and the regular season. Yeah. And and yeah. that's that's where they're going to make their bones. But I think they're really good. I don't think they're going to take – I mean, Patrick Mahomes threw 50-some touchdowns last year. Like, realistically, I've heard this stat. He I mean, could, it was, it was 5,000 yards. He could touchdowns. lose 1,500 yards and 10 touchdowns and still be the number one quarterback in football last year. Like, like that – when I first heard that, I was like, that's not – like, that That can't be right. That has to be hyperbole. That has to be exaggeration. And you look at – no, no. You take 1,500 yards, you take 10 touchdowns away, he's still 40 touchdowns and, and you 3, know, 3,500 yards. Like, that's that's crazy to me. Is yeah. he going to come back down to earth a little? Yeah. But is is he going to fall off a cliff? I don't know. When I – when I saw that metric, I thought, okay. I don't think he falls off a cliff. And then that I, I defense the was bad last year. Strength of schedule is uh, way more difficult this year than it was last year. I don't know that, that, I, don't know um, that I agree with that. I, I don't care what your numbers say. I don't care what the report is. Nobody knows what any of these teams are going to be ag- like today agreed. when they're making a strength of schedule. Um, I think, yeah, going to New England's tough. I think splitting, you know, losing, you know, to the Chargers on the road game in the division and losing to the Broncos on a road game in the division. They, yeah, it's realistic as possible. Man, there's nobody else that scares me. Let's see. They, They're going right, to so be here's, so here's much better than every team that they play very, outside of that. Very quickly, they play at Jacksonville to start, at Oakland, Baltimore, at Detroit, uh, the Colts, Houston, at Denver, Green Bay, Minnesota, at Tennessee, at the Chargers, Oakland, at New England, Denver, at Chicago, and the Chargers. They're just going to be better than all of those teams, except for two or three. They're going to they're going to be heavily favored in all those games. Okay, okay. I mean, I, I like the Vikings. I like New England. I like. I mean, they. I do too, but I don't think they're going to lose all of their tough games. That's I the don't problem. Think so. I, I and mean, if you think they're going to lose all of their tough games, not unrealistic that they do it. Then no matter how good they look in the regular season, you just go ahead and scratch them off in the playoffs. 
Because yeah. if they can't hang with the tough teams in the regular season when they only play three or four, then the damn sure not winning a Super Bowl. Yeah. And I I think they can. Okay. Okay. I'm with you on that. Let's uh, let's move on 